when it comes to soldering. Let's just put it this way. If he wants to do it, I'll let him do it. Seems to be doing a good job. It's very frustrating if you get a dry joint on these uh, electric bikes. It's happened to me before. You're riding along and you just lose power. Um, yeah. Anyway, he's doing a really good job. So I'll leave him to it for now. Basically, these things are connected in series. See? Positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative, and I'm guessing that negative. Grab my bag here. Watch out. That's how it's done. Very simple and very straightforward. Now, these batteries are incredibly tough. Okay, these things have had it, you can see. But after two years of rattling upside down and they sit on their side as well, they sit like this, they don't sit flat. They are incredibly tough and they're built to be tough. Yeah. Here's actually the box. Let's take a look. It comes in a box of four. You can see, these are 14 amp hours, 12 volts they're actually designed for these kind of bikes now interesting thing let's take a look all of those scooter style ones all the scooter style ones the ones like this they're always only 48 volt I've never seen a 60 volt one but these ones these are all 60 volts well two of them are two of them are 48 I'll show you how to tell let's take a look ah, let's find a way around go around, around this way Okay. All of these are 48 volts, every single one of them. And over here, you can see, because the battery cell is thinner. These are 48 volts, these are 260 volts. And, uh, yeah. These are the popular ones, this kind. So what are used as delivery vehicles mainly. Some of them are used as taxis as well. Because, um, show you something about these, it's cool. Okay, this can be used for a passenger's foot or it can be used to put a box and then this top part actually folds out so you can actually put something between there and tie it on so it's stable, all right? Opening this up also gives you a nice load bed and of course it has a backrest. And these new ones have got kickstands which mine doesn't have might consider putting one on actually yeah drum brakes in front uh, some primitive suspension on the front but no suspension on the back which is my major complaint about these bikes they're very uncomfortable to drive you know it's got a bicycle seat which has a little bit of suspension but not much anyway so you're sorting that out that's nice smoking while dealing with batteries is never a good idea there's a saying which holds true in this kind of situation I heard someone once say the difference between Japanese people and Chinese people the thing is Japanese people spend their whole lives trying to find the way to do something Whereas Chinese people spend their whole lives finding a way to do something. Okay, so as you can see, it's connected up to the Molex connector here, which I showed you earlier is in the bike. The bike plugs in over there. It's very convenient because you can take this power unit up to your house and charge it in your room if you want, if you're strong enough, because these things are incredibly heavy. I don't know how much they weigh, but it's got to be, I don't know, like 20 kilograms, 15 to 20 kilograms, maybe around there, maybe more. I mean, it, they are lead acid batteries. Okay. And you'll connect the other side down to the connector over there. 
See, there's ignition over there. There's an ignition. You can actually turn it on with a remote control. You don't need to use ignition, which is nice. See what I mean? This is exactly what I'm talking about. If it works, it works, I guess. <laughs> Since the some things are broken. It's finding a way. All right, now it's time to see if this is going to work. There we are. And I think I'm going to go buy that guy a beer. Perfect. All 100%. Excellent stuff. I'll make another video. I've run out of memory card. I'll make another video tomorrow to show you the progress. Cheers.